I'll be speaking to Wanja Wangondu, who's already with us here in the studio and uh, of course uh, a lot to expect when it comes to filing your returns and a lot of Kenyans on social media saying that uh, it has to be made much easier for us to be able to file our returns and uh, Wanja, thanks for making time to be with us. Thank you. And uh, a lot uh, happening in this particular week, yes. many Kenyans trying to beat the deadline for yes. the 30th of June yes. before they can be caught by the taxman. Perhaps let's just talk about what are some of the fines before we get into <laughs> filing the returns. You want to scare the people first? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the fines for failure to file the income tax individual returns uh, from the year 2016 up to uh, year 2015, 2016, 2017 is Kenya shillings 20,000 or 5% of the tax deal. All right. Yes. The 20, higher of the 20,000 flat rates. Yeah. Okay, we look at, do you have some tax deal? Mm -hmm. Then we take 5% of that tax. All right. Then we compare it with, is it more than 20,000? Mm -hmm. So whichever is higher. All right. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. And uh, let's now get into the crux of the matter, yes. Wanja. Walk us through, uh, basically, if I want to file my tax returns, maybe this is my first year of employment. Yes. And I'm told you have to file your returns. Walk us through from there. Okay, fine. So before you start filing, you need to have the documents that you need in place. Mm -hmm. So if you're in employment, you need something called a P9. I just have a sample of it here. All right. A P9. This is the P9? Yes, this yes. is the P9. And this is the document that the employer should give the employees. Uh -huh. But note this, not everybody who is employed yeah. has employment income as right. the only source of income. Mm -hmm. So again, if you have farming income, you need simple accounts on your farming. Business income accounts as well. All right. Lentor income accounts as well. Mm -hmm. As long as the lentor income, mm -hmm. you do not declare it every month under mm -hmm. the monthly rental income tax. All right. Then you'll now be declared now annually. Uh -huh. So now, for someone who is employed, yes. this is all you need. Mm -hmm. The P9 from your employer. So this is, I'm assuming, uh, uh, for example, I've worked for a year, I need yes. to file my returns. Yes. The P9, I get it from KRA, do I get it from my uh, payroll, do I get it from HR? Where do we get this P9? No, you are employer. I do not know how uh, it depends with the employer. Some employers, it is the accounts department, others it's the human resource, but basically it's your employer to give you okay. the P9. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So can I file my returns without a P9? No, because oh, okay. the P9 is basically what guides you yeah. on the tax that you are deducted mm -hmm. in the year that All right. you are All talking right. about. Yes. So yeah. we have a, a P9. Yes. I have, I'm assuming we already have a PIN number. Yes. We are registered. Yes. So take us through ITAX. What do, we, what do we need to do to get into the system? Okay. So when you got a PIN number, you were sent for a password to your email. Now. This is the KLA site, that's uh, itax.kla.go.ke or www.kla.go.ke. Mm -hmm. You get here. Yeah. Now when you get here, the first thing mm -hmm. that you need to do is find out is your password working. Yeah. So that if your password is not working, then you will be required to reset it and then I will start filing. Mm -hmm. So we can start, so we say. All right. Okay, I have a pin here. Uh -huh. Let's put it. Okay, mm -hmm. let's roll. Okay. So, as she's uh, inputting the details, as she said, you need to first have an iTax account, and this you can open on the Carry website that uh, we have behind here. You just simply go to itax.carry.go.ke. From there, so, we are now at that juncture. Yes, Please now we carry continue. On, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So. I'm waiting for you to take me to the place now where mm -hmm. I will put the password. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just put the pin number again. Carry okay. on. So uh -huh. now it asks for the password. Yeah. So now I'll put on the password so that uh -huh. we can continue. Uh huh. All right. Continue. It's a very simple process, as you can see. 
Then this is simple yeah. arithmetic here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carry on. And then I log in. Okay. Once I log in now, it opens the account, and yeah. here we are now. Uh -huh. So we need now first to determine what kind of a return do we want to file. So supposing we just want to file nil, meaning no income, uh -huh. no income at all. Yeah. So we will come at the returns here, uh -huh. and we will say file nil return. Okay. It's actually a very simple mm. return you're making because let's just see, it all just right. opens. And it just wants you to confirm mm -hmm. you do not have an income yeah. for the year 2017. Uh -huh. And on confirming you do not have an income, you submit. Okay. Yes. yes. So you submit a nil return. Yes. So what does a nil return um, talk all about? What's, what's it all about? What is it? Mm. There are people, maybe you were working in the year 2016, and then in the year 2018, you did not have any income. Okay. Maybe you are in between jobs. Okay. Then there's, not, there's no income for you to declare that year. Okay. And maybe you do not have a business as well. All right. So here we are now. It asks for the tax obligation. In this case, it is income tax. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to next. All right. So do not file a nail return if you have an income. Okay. The tax man will be on you. So what happens yes. in such a situation? Ah, there will be penalties on you because you actually added the clearly. Okay. Yes. All yes. right. Okay. Today I can see the system is very, very fast. I don't know, is it because <laughs> we have the carry people with us or it's just a system upgrade? It's actually more faster than these. All oh, right. In fact, we have people everywhere filing. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So the system downtimes, we should uh, not anticipate them this time? No, not at all. Okay. And even if they would be there, just a few minutes and up again. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So as it's continuing to load, yes. Wanja, we want to take a quick bre breather right now. Yes. And uh, when we come back, we'll pick it up from there yes. just to take you through. After you've already logged in, you've filed uh, a nil return, yes. what is the next step? Okay. You don't want to miss this because okay. you start paying a fine of about 20,000 shillings if you do not file your returns within the set deadlines. All that coming after the break as well as more news on the CBA Economic Forum that was happening earlier on here in Nairobi. So now it's... Uh You are watching Business Today.